everybody, welcome to my channel, Living in the Red Dot. This is me from Singapore. Today I'm going to be doing something different. I'd like to talk about my hobby of restoring old vintage coach bags. Um, it's something that I picked up last year and I have been doing on and off for a while whenever I find a good vintage bag. And in this video, I'd like to go about the process that I um that I take to restore these old finish bags. So if this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. So restoring these old bags is something that I picked up last year and since then I've restored about four or five and today will be my sixth one and each time I've done it I kind of did it my own way um, and then afterwards I started watching some videos to see how other people do it so basically I combined like you know their methods with mine just to see which one would work well for me now I do this not for the value of the bag but because I really really like the bags and I think the leather is really well made and the styles are very classy you know that you can just wear it with anything um, so first, I guess I'd like to show you stuff that I worked on. Um, this one is um, an old um, saddle hippie. Uh, it's a glove tanned leather and I think this based on the code here, this was done or manufactured in 2001. The color used to be brown, like this brown. But um, I didn't want that color. I wanted something lighter and brighter. So I bought some um, Angelus paint and decided to paint over it. And I thought um, it turned out pretty well. Yeah. So very minimalistic look, uh, saddle hippie like flat bag. And another one that I picked up was, this was pretty battered, um, but I really like the style. It's very like ladylike. Mm -hmm. This one is a Whitney uh, bag, and I believe, based on the code here, it was released back in 1999. So again, this was in very bad condition when I got it. Uh, it had some pen marks somewhere here and at the back, and it's quite dirty. So I used leather paint again, a different shade than, than the Saddle Hippie bag. Yeah, so this is a magnetic closure and it's very, very, very cute. You can have it as a shoulder bag or as a very ladylike handbag and the color is very neutral. I love neutral tan colors. Uh, next that I've restored is this Logan bag. This I've used this for quite a while. Um, again, it was not in good condition when I got it. And according to the date, this was released back in 1994, January 1994. It's a turn lock. It reminds me of the Willis bag, which is in my to-do list in terms of restoration. So again, a camel color. Very nice. Turned out pretty well. Again, I had to paint it because it, it was in very bad condition. Um, this one is a station bag, and this um, was produced or manufactured b before 1994. This was in very good condition, so I didn't have to do anything to the leather except for wash it and condition it and polish the brass. The leather is in its original form. Um, the only thing with this uh, bag is the turn lock is a bit wobbly here. But, you know, it works just fine right here. So this is very, very, very nice bag. I like bags that can be, uh, you can hold in two different ways, either as a shoulder bag crossover or as a handbag. So that's the station bag. And the last one that I've worked on is not a vintage bag, but it is full leather. This is the Ergo uh, two ways. I think it's released in 2008, so it's a fold over. It looks like this. You hang it, you can hang it like that. You can also 
unfold it like this and you've got this little like, wallet here with a kiss lock right there reminiscent of their older styles and um, because it's not um, vintage you've got the checkered like fabric here that is synonymous with coach and then you can hold it like this as well and I believe the chain you can hang it right here so I really really like this model so despite not being a, a vintage bag uh, I, I still got it um, again this was in very bad condition um, I think it was rained upon so it had a lot of like water marks around it so I didn't want to paint the whole bag I don't think it needed it so I kind of just like dabbed on the areas where it needed some kind of color restored you can still kind of see the different coloring right there but I think it adds character to the bag so I don't mind it at all so today what I'm going to be working on is a new bag, well it's an old bag that I got from someone from Carousel. It is a backpack, very cute full leather backpack. This is called the Sonoma, I believe, Sonoma Day Pack and it is full grain pebbled cowhide leather, very sturdy, look at that grain very nice um, it is quite worn so I wasn't quite sure what to do with it should I paint the whole thing or not or stain it but you know I think the color is a bit faded look like a chocolatey brown so I'm gonna try and use um, cream leather color repair product and see how that goes but first of all I'm gonna have to wash it um, so this Sonoma day pack uh, was released back in May 2006 based on the code right here um, and all the Sonoma line has this kind of it's a it's a cotton sateen uh, type of fabric with the stripes so I think this is exclusively for this um, Sonoma line which the bag is actually made in Italy so that's not always the case uh, most of the older um, bags in Coach are made in the United States and New York specifically and then later on they start making them in Dominican Republic, Turkey and Italy um, and then finally in the mid 2000s they went to China so yeah so this is the bag it's a very nice bag, very sturdy looking, but very faded. Um, I kind of like the vintage look, so I'm not going to fully restore it to look brand new. Um, I like the worn look, you know, not too worn. It's a bit tired now, but I think it's just a refresher. So what I'll do first is I will, it doesn't have much brass, so I will polish the brass here, clean and polish it. It's a bit tarnished using Brasso Metal Polish. Okay. So first we'll take this, this out. I will clean this separately. I'll probably soak it in the Brasso Metal Cleaner. And then... There we go. Yeah. And then I will wipe it and polish this chain set that aside so I'll just take a bit of this cleaner here so I took a bigger piece of tissue paper here um, and not tissue paper uh, paper towel and I think I'll just I put a little bit more of the metal polish and I'll rub it here and see how that goes so I finished one side and I just wanted to show you the difference between the polished side, which is this one, and this is the not polished side. See, it's, it's like a bit matte right there. This one is more gleaming. And how dirty it is. See this? Yeesh. 
Okay, so now that I've polished all that uh, brass, nice and shiny, right here, I will be giving this a wash using laundry detergent. Make sure there's nothing in the pockets. Empty. So I'll be using some washing detergent and some just warm tap water. Okay, so it's dry now, um, and I've decided to put a pillow inside just so I can stretch it uh, before I work on the exterior of this leather bag. Um, this pebbled cowhide leather dried up pretty quickly. Um, I've had the glove tanned um, smooth leathers, leather take about like three, four days before it dry. This dried in a matter of like hours. So I was really surprised. I've also noticed that um, this corner here has worn out and one of the wires has started to stick out. So I just used some leather glue and hopefully it uh, stays put for a while and I'll decide what to do to it if it pops out again. Okay, so I decided not to stain it. Uh, what I would use would be this leather repair color cream. Um, this one is in brown. Um, I'll put up a picture. It's probably hard to read. So I bought this online. I think it cost less than $5. Um, I'm not sure how well it works, but... Now, this whole thing is an experiment anyway, so we will see how this goes. And hopefully, there will be enough of a color match there. So there is a spot somewhere there, some discoloration. So let's see what I can do about that. Okay, so I think I will work on this off camera and come back. Okay, so I've got it all covered with the leather repair cream in color brown, but it's mostly dry. So all that worn out areas are covered now. It's more brown. Um, it's not there. It's not there anymore. And I suspect it's once I start wearing the bag, you know, it's just gonna rub off fabric, and that friction will get those areas to come out again. But that's fine. Um, it's part of wear and tear of usage. Um, the strings, um, the other side is still not quite done with the uh, paint or leather repair cream. Um, the inside right here, see? I will do that after I finish conditioning the outside. Then I can pull on those strings and work on them. And for conditioning, I'm going to use this leather conditioning cream. And I have this microfiber glove that I use. It's quite soft. So what I do is just I squeeze out, squeeze out a small amount and then I just start 
rubbing it. This. Okay, so again, off camera, I'm going to go and rub this all over, then I'll come back. So that's it. I've finished leather conditioning the bag all over, and this is how it looks. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, it looks rejuvenated, not as worn and tired as before. I've attached the tag, which I have also um, refurbished right here. The chain is nice and shiny. The buckles are nice and shiny. And all that is missing is for me to spray it with this waterproof spray right here. Um, this is made for bags and shoes, leather bags and shoes, so it doesn't stiffen the leather. And that's that. I can't wait to try using this. It's a very nice bag. If you like this video, please press like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.